My aunt Sarah used to say that living in a house by the beach and waking up to a beautiful sunrise with her husband by her side was her idea of a perfect day. To others, it's a gentle smile, a warm hug, or a beautiful rainbow. For me, this is my perfect day. Happy birthday to me. Today, I will celebrate life. I will be with my friends and my family. Today is going to be a great day. I can't wait. Paul, the omelet's burnt. Uh, no. It's fine, I turned off the stove already. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm so sorry, Elise. <laughs> I know what you think. Is everything okay? Why are you so stressed? Everything's fine. I just look like this by default. <laughs> okay. Come on, I'll make you a new one. Let's go. Oh, by the way, happy birthday. Thank you, I thought you forgot. Me? Forgot? I even got you your favorite flowers. Yes, thank you. They are, they are lovely, thank you. Okay, how about I make you another one? Okay. Come on. You know how much you love my omelet. Um, Paul, mm -hmm. how are the deliveries going? Uh, the deliveries, right. Uh, you know what? You don't have to worry about the deliveries, you know why? Because the kids and I have everything under control. Okay, if you say so. Where are they anyway? Uh, Patrick is running an errand and Ella is still asleep. No? Oh. Yes! She stayed up late last night. She was working on her homework and she was helping me with the souvenirs. Well, well, I'm glad she's, you know, finished the souvenirs, but it's time to get up now. I'll go wake her up. No, 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 no. Uh, how about this? You have this coffee. It's my birthday gift to you. How about you? Just relax. I'll finish up with the eggs and then I'll wake up Bella. Okay? Alright.
Hi, Sarah. Happy birthday, Elise. Thank you. How are the party preparations going? Do you need any help? No, no, it's okay. And besides, I know you're really busy with your current book tour. Oh, not too busy for you, Sarah. And besides, the book tour is not until a few weeks from now. I'll come early to help out, okay? No, it's really, it's fine. Elise, you might be the best party planner in town, but let me remind you, you're not out of the woods yet. You need to take it easy and accept help. Okay, Sarah, if, if that's what you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to pick up Mom on the way, and we'll be there soon. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. I wonder who made this spread. Wow, it looks so delicious. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. Oh, thank you, Ella. Hello. We now have a no bacon policy. It's time we start eating healthy. Yeah. Why don't we start with an apple? Dad, oh, an apple? Really? Mm-hmm. You know what they say? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, since it's my birthday, maybe we can make an exception. I can cook. Yay, bacon! Okay, fine. You all win. Don't worry, Dad. I'll see Still eat the apple along with the bacon. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Dad, do you like this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. Ella, can you please call your brother and ask him when he's coming home? I'm still outside with Rob. The contacts you gave me won't accept last minute orders. I gave you a list of a dozen bakeries. Can you tell me not even one of them can take our order? That's what they all told me. And Dad, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'll be able to make Mom's birthday breakfast. Mm. Okay, that's fine. But please just keep looking. Looking for what? Uh. Uh. Patrick said he's still looking for a gift because he hasn't found one yet. But he did say that he's not going to join us for breakfast. No, just tell him to come home. I told you all, I don't need a present. Oh, yeah, um, Mom, I got uh, you a gift. Yeah, um, yeah, by the way, what time will Grandma and Aunt Sarah and Emma come in? Uh, well, Grandma and Aunt Sarah are going to come help set up. I'm not too sure about your Aunt Emma. She's probably still busy with work. Oh, speaking of that, Emma. Hello? Sister, happy birthday! Oh, thanks, Ems. Mm -hmm. Still in New York? Well, as it turns out, I just got back, so I'm gonna make it to your party after all. Oh, well, I hope you didn't um, move around your schedule too much just for me. Huh, no, I made sure that I wrapped up early. And by the way, my crew is coming. They're gonna take the best pictures at your party. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Oh, thanks, Ems. That's so generous of you. Please, it's my gift to you. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get dressed, and Ben and I will be there. I'll see you. Okay, see ya. Bye. Post. Uh, Paul? Mm -hmm. What time are the cater and the balloons coming? About the care and the balloons. Paul. Hmm. The party is about to start in like a couple of hours and people might come early. I told the people to come early too. Wait, what? Wait, who, who's coming early? Don't worry about it. I can even drop you up to the salon so you can get your nails done. No, no need for the salon. 
I told you. Because then I have got this. You have everything under control. Here. How about you eat an apple and enjoy this breakfast spread I made? Paul, I was asking about the caterer and the balloons. Oh, I'll get it! Okay, that must, that must be the first delivery. Or the first guest. Mom, look, the balloons are here. There's still a bunch outside. Well, I'm glad they came early, but um, actually, can you turn those around? Why is there only a number four? <clears throat> Hello. You might have before you school today. Can you please take care of it? Oh, well, um, the driver said that the water is short, so, um, they'll deliver the rest later. See, at least I told you, they came in early. Thank you, Ella. I appreciate your help. Thank you. You did great, honey. Already a glitch. I hope everything else is okay. Maybe it's time I take charge. Uh, Paul, I uh -huh. am gonna go check on something. Yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, that wasn't me. Okay, I'm gonna go check up on her. Mom, uh, why don't you grab the gift here? Okay. Um, Grandma, let me show you the souvenirs you made last night. Happy birthday. Thank you. Why are you so early? Oh, you know, I thought I'd come and help. Mm -hmm. I'm so concerned about you too, especially the last assessment. Do you have any updates yet? No, I, well, I don't find, and find out until Monday. And you never know, they might give me a pill and I get to live forever. Oh, don't talk about that, Elise. Well, wherever it is, what can I do? You still have to keep positive for yourself and the family. And, you know, besides Paul and the kids, they've been so great through all this. You have such a great support system, and that's really important. Yeah. And like Carl and I, Sarah, look at you. You were able to follow your dreams and get the career that you wanted, and now you have everything you could ever ask and want. I'm like me, I don't even have a career. But with no children to share it with. I'm sorry, Sarah. That's okay. Carl and I have an understanding. But that was very insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm just so frustrated that I can't be the wife and mother my family needs. Louise, you have to have faith that everything will be okay. All right? Now. When are you going to tell mom and the kids about your condition? <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to figure that one out. Yeah, I know. I actually need to go call my caterer. Okay. Is it okay if yeah, I... Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead and do what you need to do. I'll go help downstairs. Okay, okay? I'll talk to you in a we'll bit. see you later. Hello? Hi, Justine. Hey, Elise. It's your big day. Happy birthday to my favorite client. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, actually, I was calling to ask if everything is going okay for today. I was about to call you. We have a minor issue, but um, we'll figure it out. We're just missing an ingredient. Um, since when did the best caterer in town have a missing ingredient? Since today, 
But don't worry. I promise you we'll make it right, as we always do for all of your fancy parties. Well, if you do have a chance to find this missing ingredient, then I swear I could die happy. You're so dramatic. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know I can be, but um, actually, all joking aside, I think I should tell you something. Remember when I told you about my remission a couple of years ago? And now you're better. I am so happy. And now you're celebrating your 45th birthday. Well, Justine, um, it's back. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, but that's why I want to make sure that everything is going according to plan. Of course, of course, anything for you, Elise. Okay, bye Justine. Mom's request is for her birthday party to be perfect. Her cake was my only assignment. And I failed. Hey, hey man. You didn't fail. Yet. Ooh, ooh. I have an idea. Let's tell her that the original supplier mm, backed out because of uh, a stomach flu. Yeah? Or, or, tell her that the supplier didn't pack the cake in the box properly and the cake fell out of the box and got completely ruined. Like, on the floor, her name is right there. That's not gonna help me bring home a cake. Plus, mom's meticulous. I don't want to disappoint her. Don't worry, man. We'll find another bakery, whatever it takes. Even if you have to pay a premium price. That's not an option. And I haven't even received my pay yet. And I already paid for the original cake. Then I'll pay for it. It'll be my gift to your mom. Rob, just help me find a supplier, please. Okay, okay. Don't worry. We got this. Ben, I need you to put on a good face today. What? Why do you talk to me like that? I'm not one of your models, you know that? We at least need to look happy. For who? It's my sister's birthday. Everyone will be there. I'm not gonna put on a show. You go on your own. I'm done. Ella, honey, did you need to talk to me about something? I noticed you were at the door. No, Mom. Everything's fine. Okay, uh, well... So, is everything going okay with the, the balloon deliveries? Yes, Mom. Oh, um, don't you have that assignment due this week? Yes, Mom. I've already done that. Right. Your dad said, said that. Mm. Alright. Thanks, honey. We're still looking. Patrick, your mom's starting to check out for this. She's gonna ask about her cake. Okay, how about this? We buy pre-made cake because at this rate, it's better than having no cake. Patrick, I know you're tired, but we don't want to do something mom, right? Okay, Dad. Hey, bud. Did she hear me? What is 
is he hiding? No. She definitely did not. He's been acting so weird all day. If she did, she'd react differently. Yeah, I'm sure. She didn't hear anything. Okay. Patience is a virtue, Elise. Patience. Hi, everything, girl. What's with you two? Um, I'm actually just trying to figure some things out. You ladies are gonna have to excuse me, okay? Sorry. Okay. Do you, Paul? So where do I set up? Oh. So? So? Patrick, please tell me you have the game. Yes, Dad. And just the way Mom likes it. Plus, it'll be here soon. <laughs> Good job, son. I know I can count on you. Oh, I mean, I pay for the cake. Wait, why did he pay for the cake? I thought I gave you money. I didn't have enough. I'm gonna pay him back. Well, anyways, thanks, Robbie. We'll each transfer you tomorrow, okay? Sure, at a 20%... 30% service fee and my gas. Uh, uh, kidding, Uncle, no need. It's my uh, birthday gift to Aunt Elise. Okay, how about this? I'll make it 40% if both of you can get ready right now for the party, okay? But you have to get ready and help me out, okay? And make sure you double check on your sister, okay? And then you can get ready with your stuff in the car. Okay, I'll grab my stuff from the car. Okay. And I'll check on my old dad. Okay, hurry up. Oh, hey, Ems, Ems, no candid shots for me, please. What? Candid shots are the best. No. Oh, natural. Oh. You should lose this scarf. What's with this, anyway? Oh, um, have you taken pictures of the table setting? Yes, you can check that off your list. Okay. By the way, this whole setup, amazing. Oh, you still have that magic touch. Thank you. Yeah, I've really been missing it since I've taken leave. You know, I have this fabulous caterer that I've been using for all of my shoots. Should use her instead. Thanks, but you know, Justine's the best. I suppose. By the way, how's Ella? I haven't seen her around yet. Oh, she was helping out with the balloons earlier. Anyway, Mom tells me that she's been getting straight A's in school. Yeah. Oh. I hope my girls are going to be like her. Aww. It's just sad, right? She didn't make the debate team this year? Oh, uh, well, she, she was probably just busy with projects for our church. <laughs> and she volunteers for your church? Gotta say, you and Paul did a great job with the kids. Yeah. Uh, Ashley, you know what? I I think I should start getting ready. Okay. Honey, this is yours. Thank you. birthday breakfast this morning. I'm so sorry, Mom. Happy birthday. We're outside. Dad asked to make sure Ella's ready. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting ready now, too. Um, actually, can you tell her to wear the white dress that I got her? Oh, and by the way, Patrick, can you please don't forget to remind your sister that after she gets ready to please hand out the souvenirs to the guests, please? All right. Hold that thought. Ella? What are you doing? I'm just playing a game. Party's gonna start soon. We need to get ready. Patrick, the dress? All right, yeah. Mom wanted you to wear the white dress. I'm actually dressed for the party, see? Well, since you're so busy playing games, Dad is asking for help inside. Something about the souvenirs? I 
already held with the souvenirs and the balloons last night. Just give me a minute. Ella, I don't have time for this. Do you know how tired I am between working part-time, going to college, looking after you and mom? Yeah, right. You're so good. That's why you failed your chemistry class. Wait, how did you know about that? Oh, well, I heard on Emma talking about it. Well, just don't tell mom and dad. Uh, too late? Sorry, Patrick. Mom? Dad? Patrick? Why didn't you tell us you're failing chemistry class? We've always had an open door policy. Why don't you come in and we'll talk about this? No, no, no. Elise, we don't have time for this. But Paul, you can see that he's trying to, he's going through something. We should like talk about this. Yes, we can talk about this, but later, after the party. Let's just face it. There's a lot of things going on right now. Besides, you guys just won't understand. Why don't you try us, Patrick? Do we have to do this now? Yes. I want to know what's going on with you. Okay. It's been ever since. Ever since what, honey? Ever since I got sick? Mom. Well, is it? Yes, Mom. Ever since you got ill. We just don't talk anymore. What are you, what are you talking about? We don't laugh like we used to. I, I don't understand any of this. We're expected to do everything perfectly. Like this party, for instance. That's not true, Patrick. Oh, we cannot be weak. Patrick. We always taught you both that we always have to be strong. That's the only way. I just feel like we're not allowed to fail. And I don't want to disappoint you. No, you don't, Patrick. Oh, God. I feel like everything has to be perfect. That's why I can't tell you what's going on with me anymore. Stop it, Patrick! Just stop! You're just gonna upset Mom! Okay, okay. Everyone, just... Everyone, just calm down. Oh, Let's discuss this face to face after the party. The guests are arriving and they're coming in soon. I want to fix this now, Paul. Take charge here. Elise, I'm trying. As I said, we'll talk about this after the party. I promise. But this can't wait. I want this to be done and over with now. So that once I'm... You know, once I'm gone, you will all be okay. Gone? Mom! What are you guys talking about? Why are you saying that? Patrick... I'm so sorry. But... You see... Mom's... Mom's cancer came back. And it's worse because it's stage four. Stage four? No, Dad, this can't be true. Mom. 
sorry. I didn't know. Patrick, I just want you all to be okay. Especially when... No, Mom. Don't say that. At least... Oh. Patrick. I'm so sorry that you have been going through so much pressure right now. But for now, why don't both of you just come inside and after the party we'll talk about this. Okay, God. Okay. Ella! Ella! Just maybe, there are just some things you can't plan for. Here, this is for you. Thought you could use some help getting ready. No, no, I'm fine. You don't look fine to me. I see. Well, there's nothing complicated about this deal. Like what your papa and I have always taught you, when you don't know the answer, always ask in a prayer. Thank you, Mom, for always being there for me. Now, let's get you ready. Dad! Patrick, are you with Ella? No, Dad. Grandma saw her leave the house. I'm on my bike right now. The tracker's saying that she's somewhere here at the park. But Patrick, that's a few miles away. Just stay put. I'll come get you both. Okay, Dad, don't worry. I will find her. Paul? Hey, Sarah. Everything okay? Yeah, I just stopped to pick up the kids. Long story. Okay, is there anything I can do to help? Just hold down the fort and do whatever you think is good for the party. Okay. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, okay. Okay. Please, is everything okay? Um, I'm, I'm feeling a little anxious. The kids have been gone so long. We had an argument earlier. Oh, what? Why? I ended up telling them. Oh, no. That kind of 
happening, see? No, and they're upset, and now I don't even know where they are. Oh, well, I saw Paul, and he's gonna get the kids. They'll be back soon, don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, the guests have been waiting for a while, right? You yeah. think we should start? Yeah, we can. Let's go get Dad to pray. Come on. Okay, let's go. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elise. Happy birthday to you. You all are so extremely special to me. Blood or not, you're all invited here because that's how much you all mean to me. You know, over the years, each and every one of you has witnessed not only our victories, but also our struggles. You've been there for us every time Ella and Patrick would go up on stage because they're doing so well in school. And other times when it's not so happy, you were all there. Rain or shine, thick or thin, so I hope you can continue being there for me and my family because we may just be in the thick of it yet. Um, recently, my doctor told me that I have cancer again. Can you believe it? Stage four. I met the big C <laughs> a few years back. And um, it was the biggest trial for me and my family. Yet I ensured to fight it. I fought it. And we fought it together. Until I could no longer bear the pain. And I decided, you know what, let's just surrender it all to God. At some point, I just finally accepted it. And I was just ready to go anytime. I thought it was over, but I learned that nothing is really over until life is over. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to make anyone here sad. As I said, I'm just so extremely grateful for your support, your undying support, and what God has placed for me and my family. You know, there is no perfect day. Breaking news, right? No matter how much we plan for it. But we can just only do our best. 
for what we leave behind, for those we leave behind. Just so we know that it's all worth it. And to my beloved Paul, I'm so grateful that you've stood by my side all these years. I am brave because you're brave with me. <laughs> And so, I accept for our 25th wedding anniversary. Okay. It'll be you and me. I will marry you again. Dear Elise, I thought of a perfect gift this year. I would love nothing more than to walk down the aisle with you again. I would love to see you shine bright that day, because I know in my heart of hearts that we are going to grow old together longer than you think. Elise, Will you marry me again? Hey, Cat! Hey, Ella! So, where's Mom? Well, she's outside on the patio already. That's great. So, what's in the bag? Breakfast and stuff. Here, have a bite of this. Along with the bacon? Always with the bacon. Awesome. I got Mom's cake. Wait. Is it? Just the way she likes it. Oh, I knew you could do it. Of course. Okay, let's go. I'm so excited to see mom. Me too. I vow for better or worse, I'll grow old with you. In the midst of storm, safe we tuck you in. We will find a strength within Together we'll step firm And finish our race Towards the redemption Of His promised grace The time is near Happy 60th birthday to me I made it Again I thank God for this miracle Fifteen years ago I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life, but it's also the happiest. For I was reminded then that when we leave all things to God, He gives us strength, and it is He who makes our way perfect. I'll wait.